It is the riots on Radio U. So I just got an in stock alert from Amazon, but yeah. now I can't find it. About what? That's what I don't know. Is <laughs> I had a couple of things that I had those set for, and now I can't find it. Is there it was way, on my phone. Is there a way in your Amazon uh, world to be able to find that online? Or that's what I was looking for. Yeah. Aww. So man. By Think the time about, someone tells you how to do it, it'll be out of stock. It'll be over. So you know what? <laughs> Let's not worry about that right now. Let's get focused on the today's today. podcast. <laughs> uh, don't forget that tonight, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, the riot's going to be live with the Ugly Christmas Sweater Party Part 2. So you can actually watch us. It's on Facebook, our Radio U and our Radio U Riot pages. Either one will work. So make sure you like and follow both of the pages. Uh, today in the podcast... President Trump is giving people Christmas Eve off, and I feel like we should all follow suit. <laughs> Except for us, of course, doing another Riot Christmas show. Well, we have that Monday, but then then we're gone. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of argument in this podcast over the food that we're going to have for the Christmas party. When I was in the break room, I came to a conclusion, so I'm going to go over that with you when we're done. Okay, So I good. think we found a plan. Okay, um, let's see. Movie Pass, again, spam phone calls, the Home Alone Google commercial, we talked the steam sale and the sleep drink. Not drank, but drink. drink. D- totally different. Not the same. <laughs> so that's all I got. Enjoy the podcast. Hopefully we'll have a chance to talk with you during our Christmas party tonight. Yes. And then uh, we've just got tomorrow's show for the riot. And then Monday we have a special Christmas show for you. And then that's it. Okay. So we need to... Uh... We need to get some of those questions in. I was just thinking, like, I want to go back to that one more time and say, hey, if you got some good questions for us, when you, like, as soon as you get us talking about this, you need to message us on Facebook, hit us on Twitter, or email riot at radiou.com. Say, hey, I'm a podcast listener, blank, because I want some good ones for tonight. That sounds like a plan. Okay. Have a great day. Bye. Wish the worst of the riot would never end. Everything that has a beginning. What is wrong with you? Get our daily podcast through iTunes, Google Play, or the Radio U app. Uh, Did you guys hear about the upcoming Christmas? Did you? Did you hear about the presidential proclamation? Did you hear it? President Donald Trump signed an executive order allowing all federal employees that are non-essential yeah. uh, to take Christmas Eve off. Christmas Eve off. Mm-hmm. Just so long weekend, right? Just got to get to tomorrow, and you're off until Wednesday. Apparently, this is something that is traditional for presidents to do, to give federal employees either Christmas Eve or the day after Christmas off, depending on what date Christmas falls, falls on, on the calendar. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Monday it is. Yep. So... I just feel like you could probably go ahead and check out now. <laughs> and if anybody says anything, actually, you know what? It probably depends Don't on check the, out till after our show on Monday. All right. It probably depends on the political leanings of the office manager and or boss and or owner where you work. But I mean, with the right one, you could just be like, hey. Don't you want to do what President Trump says? That'd be American of you. Don't you want to be supportive <laughs> of the president? So you should take the day off. Don't you want to make... Play that one lightly, though. Like, you're going to have to just feel it out. So maybe go ahead and start start the work now, laying the foundation of trying to get Monday off. But don't go too crazy on it. Maybe you... I mean, would you lay... Like, print the story out, maybe put it somewhere? No, just you know, start talking fridge. about it. Be like, hey, isn't it awesome that you heard that that was the proclamation? <laughs> What you need to do is, though, you buy them a MAGA hat, and then you put this right on top of it. So they of the open. article? Yeah, and so it's like, do you want to make America great again? How about Christmas Eve off? Now, yeah, be careful, though, because, again, if not, you'll get Christmas Eve off, and you'll get Christmas Day off. And the And rest, every day yeah. after mm-hmm. that. So, again, tread carefully. You got to, it's important to know the political leanings of those surrounding you so that you don't have a misstep. Yes. As it were. <laughs> If not, you could use the misstep as someone who doesn't like President Trump, and maybe they'll give you the day after Christmas off. Or maybe they're like, you're working Christmas Day, that's it. (laughs) You're working every day. But there's nobody, (laughs) shut up, you're working. So be very careful with it. You gotta look out. But we're happy to help if you need any tips or tricks. (laughs) We can help you try to get Monday off. There are two types of people in this world, and neither one of them likes the riot. You're listening to The Riot on Radio U. 
Last night, I made two stops. First off, I DJed a Christmas party. Way not, to go. Not to make everything about Christmas, but guys, <laughs> everything's about Christmas right now. Now, it's not like you just DJed a party. You have to be specific. You I DJed, DJed a Christmas, Christmas party. party so. I did. So last night, I DJed a Christmas party, which was great. And you know, when we talked to Lennox, I was like, oh, I don't get to DJ a Christmas party. We had a late edition. <laughs> Got a phone call on Monday, like, hey, Christmas party. And I was Flag like, yes. on the Christmas play. Yes, let's do this. <laughs> if you missed our recent talk with Lennox, you can find that through Radio U Riot on Facebook. And it's also on our YouTube channel. You just look for the Riot interviews. Mm-hmm. So, uh, DJ at a Christmas party. And then that took me to basically the other side of town, which means different Walmart. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to hit up a couple of these stores over here looking for taste test items. Because we've got our Christmas party for the riot tonight Mm -hmm. at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. So we're trying to find a few last items. So what I like, I hit a couple of grocery stores over there, including a Walmart looking for. We found out there were a bunch of new cereals that came out looking for those looking for maybe an actual ugly sweater or ugly Christmas sweater, because I have like an ugly Christmas sweater t-shirt, and I thought, you know, let's see if I can get something a little more legit. I want you to know nothing. Nothing I mean, at like, all? No. No cereals. No weird holiday snacks. Like, I went to school on those grocery stores. I'm afraid we're too late. Going through places like that, looking for things. That would have been back at the end of November, early December. Like, I maybe guess. they're just all gone. So, and I mean, again, I've learned my lesson. My ugly Christmas sweater, I am getting that way, way earlier in the season next year, which is what I did last year. I don't know why this year I was like, oh, I just wear a You were just later. off. A mo- you just off. It was all right. I did. I've done everything late this Christmas. But I want you to know that uh, this is both hilarious and depressing. I was I was in Walmart last night, and as I said, I was going through all these different aisles, and there was this man and woman standing there, and the woman looks at him and says, look, the only reason I'm spending the night with you is... It's because you said we could get drunk. (laughs) Isn't that the holidays? And then she goes, so if we're not going to be drinking, I just might be changing my mind. Okay. That is, uh, I want to just say perhaps a warning sign when one says that. I just wanted to lean in and be like, guys, there's actually multiple things that are wrong with this conversation Many layers. okay there's a lot of layers <laughs> like a lot a lot of different things here uh the exchanging of this for that mm-hmm. the poor uh, relationship the perhaps, manipulation perhaps a slight on both parts kind of maybe a drinking problem maybe <laughs> the, I, has it ever occurred to you that somebody that's willing to be with you but only if they're drunk like yeah, that's it's just an eye opener isn't it that's not doing wonders for your self esteem or hers quite frankly could have told her be like listen I'm just here to find these Christmas cereals for work <laughs> but I couldn't help but notice a little problem with your statement right there oh my my gosh and i just thought yep this is this is true love walmart style for real you just made the Merry, relationship stay there forever <laughs> merry christmas guys <laughs> wow that's quite a statement i'm amazed by you know what the reality of it is is i think that you can't go to walmart looking for it but when you go you just have to have your eyes and ears open i haven't been to the website the people of walmart thing in forever i wonder if they still do that well man these people need to be on it they looked normal i mean well, it wasn't no, they that's didn't not have what people of walmart's about i know it's not the it's website not the ones that don't look normal but they just look like straight up normal people just doing their shopping and when that lady said that i was like <gasps> That's terrible. <laughs> it's quite a statement. Well, guys, do you have time to sit down and talk a little bit? I want to talk about respect for yourself and others. Hey, and... they still post things for people at Walmart. Okay, well, it's I'm still gonna go, there. I'm going to go spend some time on that. That'll kill a few minutes. Let's get some coffee. <laughs> look at people at Walmart. Cozy on up. Oh, yeah, I haven't been to this website in forever. Ooh. We thought about selling the worst of the riot, but let's be honest. No one is buying this stuff. Get it for free on the Radio U app. This is crazy time. This guy's name is Klaus Reloidius. Relocious? We'll call him Klaus, okay? He's German. He has been writing for a magazine called Der Spiegel. Yeah. Which, by the way. Well, it's normal. No der, bra. <laughs> That's a very no good one. All right. I think we talked about him 
a while ago, this guy? Because it I, started to unravel, and I, I thought we mentioned him before. Well, according to what I'm reading here, which, you know, can you believe anything ever, it started to unravel in November. Mm-hmm. So I don't know that we, I think the I think we actually talked about somebody else. else? Oh, okay. I don't think this is the same guy. So, but this guy, because I thought that person was German as well. Well, maybe it's a German problem, but... Get a load of this, all right? This guy, he has written all these articles for Der Spiegel. And I think they said CNN award winner. He was the 2014 CNN Journalist of the Year. There's a little problem. He just makes things up. Yeah. Uh, There was what really got things started. Well, there were kind of two things going on. Uh, He wrote this article that was all about this town in Arizona. And the article was uh, titled where they pray for Trump on Sundays. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, obviously, a politically charged article. The guy did no interviews. He did almost no research at all. He wrote an article about this intensely pro-Trump city in Arizona, and the only thing he had correct in the article that was factual, they said, was the city's population and its average temperature. That was it. Other than that, Every single other thing that he put in that article is made up. What? What? And they said that was for a lot of his articles. He would just make stuff up. There was another reporter that find out there. He was this guy was writing an article about the border militia in Arizona. Uh Again, politically charged topic. And the other reporter who was working with him started going like, okay, well, you know, when did you do this interview? Who is this? Et cetera, et cetera. The guy couldn't provide any info. It was all made up. So here's something to keep in mind. This is, I'm telling you, like, I really. This happens, I think, more than we realize. I really think a hundred years from now, we are going to look back and this is another period of quote unquote yellow journalism. If you go back and look at, I want to say it was the what, like the late 1880s, uh, that's where the term yellow journalism came up. And the idea was to sell newspapers. Newspapers just started basically making up stories. And depending, my grasp of history of this time is not super great, but like the Mexican-American War was basically agitated into existence in a lot of ways because of fake News. news, sure. And I realize that's a term we don't like to use now, and uh, the way things have been thrown back and forth, I like. I totally get that. But, man, I'm telling you, there are a lot of things that we think are real that aren't real. Does this guy have any consequences to that? I mean, his career, obviously, I would hope, would be gone. But, I would. I mean, is there anything else? He's no. been lying. <laughs> uh, no. I mean, he's been writing all this stuff that people just read. I, and I mean, I guess it's the end of his career. He says that uh, he needs help. Because he just habitually lies? I'm sick and I need to get help. He has reportedly said to, uh, oh, my gosh. I'm not going to say which news organization this is. But their their big quote is at the top of the story. I'm sick and I need to get help. Klaus Relocious, CNN journalist of the year. Mm. <laughs> so that's some trolling right there. Sure, uh, I'm sure this organization suffers from its own issues. Uh, you have to always just wonder if you're into reading a ton of articles and people's opinions and opinion pieces and all that stuff. Uh, you just never know. This guy wasn't even writing opinion pieces. That's true. Well, you're forming an opinion based on his pieces. <laughs> That's da- that is dangerous. Like, I mean, like you're firing people up politically, and it's not real. Well, like only the population part of the one article. He did get that part real. Good call, Nikki. That, That's he real. got one part done. The riot with Obadiah. Them honey buns and Cheetos done caught up with. The riot with Nikki. Yeah, she's a liar because I don't know her. So whatever, whatever she says is a lie. So. The riot. Radio U. Tonight, don't forget, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. We have, you know, the show, obviously, this morning. Mm -hmm. But we're doing a second show. It's our ugly Christmas sweater party, our second year doing that. We'll be doing some special Christmas taste test items. We'll be doing our gift exchange. And you can watch and hang out and talk with us during it. That'll be on Radio U and Radio U Riot on our Facebook pages. Are we doing the sandwiches? The sandwiches? Oh, are we getting food before we start? You know, let's... Let's say yes. Okay. Like, what do we want to do? Are we going to do the Arby's and the Wendy's? Yes. I think so. Do you want to eat that while we do I it? I want you to know that last night yeah. I bought some Pepto. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> 
It was for a di- an unrelated discussion. Or did you want to do the spaghetti thing? Like, okay, are that, you? Do you really want to do that? Because I thought, well, we'll just go get some spaghetti from some place. The other thing that we talked about was that we could recreate the Elf breakfast. Yeah, the spaghetti, pop tarts, marshmallows, syrup. But I, I will tell you, like, it, that's a funny idea. But if you want to talk about what I think we, sounds really good, it's we get that Wendy sandwich and that Arby sandwich. The Arby's one that has the fries on it, sure. and the Wendy's one that has the honey on it. Yes. Okay. You want both of those? Honey, honey, honey. Probably about the same calorie sugar count as if we did the complete elf breakfast. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think there's a lot more. Maybe not calories, but certainly more sugar in that elf uh, breakfast. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, <laughs> we'd have to we'd have to do some research. Yeah, I'm fine for whatever you want to do. What? No, could you not do that? Why? Because that's a checked out statement. It is not a checked out statement. Is I'm deferring. Okay, well, I need you to not defer. I need you to no der. I need you to tell me, like, what you think. Because I, I... I don't think I want the Arbinator, but then really? I... Really? Okay. Well, now we're getting somewhere. Right, we're having we're honest talking. discussions. Now we're having now a we're discussion. Talking. Okay. I could get something else. I feel like maybe I would just Why get it. Why don't you want the Arbinator? Because I already had it before. Oh, okay. But maybe I would just do a hamburger or something. Okay. All right. And okay. I, I know the Wendy sandwich... Don't you want to have the Wendy sandwich? I tried a bite of it, but I don't like syrup stuff as much as you guys do, so... I don't think I would enjoy the whole thing. So basically, the answer on that is just no. Wrong. For me, I'd be just picking something else. You get whatever you would like. The answer on this is no, no. guys. <laughs> it, it's a no. Why don't we go back to the plan of getting chicken? That sounds good. Chick- what chicken? Just we just any get chicken? chicken fingers. Well, I mean, I'm not against that. We could do that, too, or we could get some hamburgers, like I said, or I don't know. Watch me be like Michael. Well, I had chicken yesterday. <laughs> yeah, so we can't do it tonight. Our boss is always, every time we, we also, suggest something, he's always like, well, I just ate that. Yes, he does say that, and you're like, thank you so much. <laughs> we could just find, we could just eat whatever we want, or we don't need to eat at all. We have our snack items. Okay, all right. Well, now I feel like like it's passed. Like, if you're not getting the big sandwiches, we can't, okay. what's the point of me getting them? So, what do you want to try the most? The Arbonator's just, it's been out, and, you know, I had it. So, I just don't want to have it again. Anybody else? Does anybody else hear it? Because I do. That's <laughs> what you call some minimizing. <laughs> it's been out. It's been out. I've had it. So. I'm over it. All right. We'll decide before tonight. We'll yeah. figure it out. By decide. Uh, uh, Whatever you want to do. Just I want you to whatever. have it if you want to have it. We don't have to have it together. <laughs> then you know what? If we're not having it together, okay, then I why? don't want it but at all. I will do the bacon maple chicken. The only chicken. reason I agreed to come here tonight is because you said <laughs> we were going to get uh, sandwiches. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll stay on record saying I would like a bacon maple chicken sandwich. I'll don't, do that. Don't lie. No, I really want She's to. It looks to so us. delicious. Look yeah. at that. No, no, it's, got, it's fine. It's got I'm, smoked bacon, maple glaze on a croissant bun. We'll do that one. I'm comfortable with your utter betrayal. It's fine. <laughs> I'm just Don't worry about I'll, it. I'll I'll pick this up on the way in. Do you want me to do that? No. Can I can not it help anymore. you if I get it for you? Not anymore. You sure? The moment has passed. No, no, no. It'll come back. When you're hungry and tonight we want to eat, I'll get this. It's fine. I, you know what? I'll just go get myself a freestyle drink and you won't need one of those cuz you've already had those. So, don't worry about it. <laughs> I can't go to Wendy's. I'll get it for tonight. So stay tuned to see what we decide on eating for more our like, Christmas party tonight. More like stay tuned for us to forget we even had this talk. I know. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, we were supposed to get something. Oh, yeah, remember I no, was no. hurt and you weren't hungry? I, yes. I'm going to set a reminder. <laughs> we'll get that on the way in. Starting your day with the worst of the riot is a great idea because it's guaranteed to get better from here. <laughs> it's the riot on Radio U. I know that Radio U is non-commercial. In fact, I would remind you that if you haven't given to Radio U yet, you can by going to RadioU.com slash donate. Do it before midnight on December 31st. And that is a tax deduction for this tax year. That's what I have to remind you. And I say that before we discuss a commercial. Yes, the Google one. Dude. It was everywhere on Facebook. 
They nailed it. Yes, they did. They nailed it. And I like, thought, I just had to laugh. I thought, oh, well, Macaulay Culkin's probably right at the end where, you know, he wants <laughs> little uh, Home Alone money again. You know what? I can't blame the guy. Like, I think it's smart. I, I, because it's one of those things like, all right. I can remember at one point, I've seen child stars cash in on child stuff, and it's really poorly and done. he's never really done no. that, uh, you know, recently. It, he he stayed away from it, really. So for him to get out there and be like, yep, like, <laughs> I did. And they, but it was but just really. I think it was really, so well done. It was fine. It was incredibly well done. If you haven't seen it, it's basically for Google Home, and it's a grown-up Kevin McAllister, even though I don't think they use that name. And it's him jumping on the bed. I liked that one the most because then he holds his back his like, back. oh, that was greatly played. Um, it involves like him using voice commands to turn things on and off. It's it's great. And the pizza delivery part, oh, the too. the pizza delivery That was good. That's He's right. like, okay. Yeah, I paid you online. <laughs> Shows you play, paid online. It's great, so I think it was funny. It seems like everybody really liked it. I did like it because it was just it was just the right touch. Like, just enough anymore. And it's like, ah. But you know what? Tastefully done, sir. So it's everywhere. If you haven't seen it, it's trending on most places. Yeah. Have you watched Home Alone 2 yet? It's in my bag. Okay. I have the Christmas break. When I settled down for my long Christmas break, Mm -hmm. Obi was kind enough to bring me Home Alone 2. Mm -hmm. I know I've seen it when I was younger, but I haven't. It's been quite some time. I watch Home Alone 1 and 2 every year. Mm -hmm. Uh, I also watch, I mean, I got a a whole list of movies that get watched every year. So Home Alone's in that mix. So is Die Hard typically, but I haven't watched Die Hard yet. No, not yet. Not yet. So I got to get on that. There are pros and cons to everything in life, except for the riot. Here, it's no pros and all. It's the riot on Radio U. So do you feel like most of your phone calls these days aren't even really for you? They're just spam. (sighs) The phone calls are always from a local area code uh, that looks like a number that you're familiar with and mm-hmm. you pick it up and it's some sort of auto warranty or something along those lines. I had an actual business call me yesterday and I didn't take their call because I just assumed it, it had to be real? spam. <laughs> Pretty much. It had to be. So uh, it's not your imagination. The amount of spam calls that are taking place in the space of one year has gone up 300%. Why has it? I mean, like, why do they feel like that's a tactic when a lot of people don't utilize the phone feature of your phone? The, and the same way, like, why do they think we're going to just answer these calls? I don't know. And I've wondered the same thing because it's it's something to me that's like, you know, this doesn't Make match sense. up. Yeah. Like, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Be, but why wouldn't we be getting level, spam text messages? Somebody... It must be working or they wouldn't do it at all, right? No, I think they're trying to wear us down. <laughs> Just keep calling. Wear us down to what? I didn't tell you answer the phone. Maybe that's it. But if you do, well, I mean, sometimes it's a recording. Sometimes it's a live person. So it's, it's like. It's always whatever. I don't know. But yeah, it's gone up 300%. And if you think it's bad where you are, uh, the worst, most spammed country this year, Brazil. Oh, really? Brazil received more spam phone calls than anybody else. India, more like the second most spammed phone calls. Though, I mean, to be honest, I just assumed they were coming from there. But that may not be the case. Uh, But according to Truecaller, which is a caller ID service that's based out of Stockholm, but they provide caller ID services for around the world, uh, they said that one in every four incoming calls is spam. Oh, no. I just want you to know, for me, it's way (laughs) higher than that. Way more than that. How about try four in four phone calls or spam? (laughs) Every so often you might get something else, but usually it's pretty much 100%. I was going to say three out of four. It's ridiculous. Because I just, I guess I don't get enough actual phone calls, but when my phone rings, I never think, oh, I wonder who it is. It's always like, oh, stupid spam. Mm, And and then it makes it mad because if you do it, because sometimes I'll be expecting a phone call and Mm -hmm. they'll pull a local number. And so you'll think, well, maybe this is it. You answer and then they either get really surprised, like you don't want to talk to them. What? Then they get nasty or it just goes down. Hill. Yeah, I had I've had a couple of those spam callers again early days before I knew not to take the call. Like some of the things that they, they said to me on the phone you. were shocking. Yeah, they'll just scream a, a word at you and then hang up if they know that they don't have a chance. They were 
shocking. Oh, well, it's just Mm -hmm. that's how life is nowadays. So it's not your imagination. And remember, the FCC is trying to look at ways in the United States to curb spam calls. But don't worry, they won't figure it out. (laughs) At least anytime soon. Yeah. Because, you know, it's something that's important to us now. You could be learning jujitsu right now or how to drive a race car. Or do anything productive with your life, but no. You're listening to the worst of the riot on Radio U. Sorry, had to do a little sniffing. <laughs> Did you? How's your yeah. nose doing? Uh, it's t- actually, my nose has been running like crazy the last couple of weeks. Really? I don't know if it's been the temperature or if it's like indoor allergies. It's dustier because windows aren't. I don't know. But- it's weird where we're at. It's been back and forth. Like it's yes. not. It's not really that cold, but yet it's kind of gone up and down and i think that does usually lead to like allergy stuff yeah it hasn't been terrible but it's been a little sniffly Mm. you know Uh, which in a lot of ways that's kind of how i feel about bruce willis these days like it's not terrible but it's a little sniffly (laughs) what has he been in recently uh the only thing i can think of that he's been in this year was death wish uh, okay, I think that's, I can see the cover of that. That's not a very good movie. Well, I mean... It's he, not like the worst movie. It just is it a movie. He just wanted to make something. Well, we all want to make something, Nikki. Uh, I think in the end, what he really wants is to make a little money. Yeah, he wants a, an actual hit. Uh, so, Bruce Willis has just signed a three-movie deal with Movie Pass. <laughs> Wait, how is Movie Pass still doing anything? Oh, don't you remember that Movie Pass was like, hey, we're going to do... You know, movies now. No. So like we're gonna we're gonna help you get tickets to movies, we're gonna advertise, and we're gonna make movies. So this will be a movie you'll actually be able to go and see and see often, maybe. <laughs> they want you to see it. Yeah, that's one that you're right. allowed to see you're more than once. You're allowed to see it more than once. <laughs> see, I feel like it would go the other way where they'd be like, Oh yeah, um, you know what? Uh, actually you can't use movie pass for movie pass movies. Because we need you to pay for those. We need to pay full price. So he will be filming his very first of these movie pass movies called Trauma Center. And that will be filming February 2019. And then, you know, who knows knows when it's coming out. Interesting. So like instead of it, it almost feels like, you know, how movies sometimes have a in theater deal for a little bit and then. Basically, though, they're also still streaming like you can buy it from Amazon or iTunes already, even though it's still in theaters. Uh Feels like one of those extra deals. It it does. It'll be somewhere else. But at least in theaters, it's brought to you by MoviePass. MoviePass, they put out a movie this year. I did not know that they were behind this, but they put out Gotti. Uh, G-O-T-T-I, which was the a... John Travolta one? John Travolta see, movie. They didn't make that. They didn't no, have they anything did to do with that. Then well... It just, they, they purchased its rights. But that's Netflix. Sure. I mean, Netflix, the majority of what you see as a Netflix original, they didn't make it. They just went and bought it from somebody that made it. Once it was finished. And in fairness, lots of networks are like that. But yeah, and uh, movie passes, uh, that Gotti movie, it got a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. Goose egg. You mean no one saw it? No one even reviewed it? Or did they review it at a zero? Right there. Oh, that's terrible. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I mean, it, it, you at uh, least want to give a, give a movie something because it's there. They they spent time to make it. Well, they feel like maybe they gave it something just by watching it. Sure. So the money. <laughs> that, that's something. So if you're a Bruce Willis fan, then he'll be doing at least three more movies. I also see that there's some sort of a sexual harassment storyline that's unfolding at Movie Pass as well. So In the movie or like in the actual offices? No, 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 in the offices. Uh, so it's going great. Well, Paul, he put it exactly there. He says, I love Bruce Willis, but I may skip these movies just so Movie Pass doesn't get another dime from me. Oh. Paul, that seems like it's the right feelings right you know there. What? I was going to say, Paul, <laughs> I think you're on to something you're because. Not the only one who feels that way. Uh, I mean, I guess technically, like, I got what I paid for out of it. It's fine. They just, you know, it's not that I'm mad. I'm just disappointed. Disappointed. <laughs> The riot has a problem with authority. It's a little rule. Maybe you're not familiar with it. Nobody tells me what to do, ever. I want to give a huge shout-out to Juan. Uh, Juan emailed me last night. Uh, let's see. What time was that? I don't know. Sometime last night. And I was just like, dude, this is fantastic. He's on top of things. He was. He heard us talking on the podcast about the fact that uh, 
I lost my TIE fighter. Yeah. Earlier this week, I got so excited. It was, I feel like well, you need was over to explain the weekend. that. <laughs> so here's what happened. Uh, they make this TIE fighter toy. It's If you don't know what that is, it's a spaceship. And it's just a toy. It's not real. It's a um, couple of years old. It's a giant one. Yeah, huge. And so huge. it was on clearance for this Christmas. And I was all excited. It was like 40-something bucks. And I was like, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm getting that. I was so excited. And then uh, they canceled my order. Because I think they oversold or something. They did. And you know what? That's fine. Because sometimes things happen. But it was hard because you'd bought it, and then you get the email, and you think it is tracking. And it was not. It was a cancellation It was one. a sincere apology. apology. <laughs> which, you know, whatever. It happens. Uh, but then, then, uh, everybody's like, but you could buy this one. And it went from being like 40-ish dollars to almost 80-ish dollars. And it's like, no, 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 no. Like, that's way too. 40 was too much, but I was willing to splurge. At 80, we're just way. way too much we're way <laughs> off the reservation like it's too it's we're like it's so far past what <laughs> well no. i still think it's a good like it's a good price for the toy but not for you to want to buy it yes i agree with you and so juan sent me some links to some used ones yeah. that i could buy and i was like man that didn't even occur to me you're gonna buy someone else's tie um, fighter you know what? i messaged them and said hey is it still available and is this a non-smoking home yeah that's the big that and pets uh, oh, yeah, I should probably ask about that as well, uh, just because I have allergies, and if you buy something from a smoker, your you, whole house you know will smell that, like, yes. uh, <laughs> and if you're not a smoker, that you don't want that. That's not a bonus. <laughs> yes, and so uh, they haven't gotten back to me yet. What but... if they're like, yeah, I'm a smoker, and I have cats? <laughs> like You're like, well, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. <laughs> He, just Every, can't, he can't survive if the TIE fighter comes into his house. Everything about this is not going to work for me. Well, so. hopefully that does work out, though. Yes. Yes, Someone else's purchase that they regret could be your fortunate purchase that you would not regret. Here's what I think. Looking at it, I think that was a child's toy <laughs> that they've outgrown. That's just from the posting that's the feeling I got. <laughs> but this would be for you. Yes. <laughs> so it's just, but you, like you said, you want to set this up and have it like in... It's a statement piece. It's a, it's a piece of art in your space. It's fun. So It's a little fun thing. It'll be fine. Mm-hmm. So how much do you think you can get it for? I'm not at liberty to say. How much did you post it for? Well, here's the thing is I don't want to say because I don't want all of these people trying oh, to right, buy it to from him. To it? I don't think so. No, he's got his listed for $25. Dude! You could totally go like 15 bucks. I mean, of course, you have to offer a little less. Mm-hmm. Well, they expect that. It's the dance. Yeah, I'm sure if you put it at 25, he expects 20. Yeah, so we'll. But he might take 15. We'll see. My favorite part of the worst of the riot when they shut up and the music starts. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. You know, we haven't talked about it at all, but today. At least according to what I'm looking at here, could be a very special day, Nikki. What are they saying? And you're like, wait, do you mean because of tonight's <laughs> Riot's it, Ugly Christmas Sweater Party 2? because of our show tonight? <laughs> is that what it is? That's on Facebook, by the way, not Radio U. You'll join us on our Radio U or our Radio U Riot Facebook page to watch us have a special Christmas show. It's that, but no, no, no. I believe at, and again, we're not confirmed, but distinct possibility, Nikki, uh, today... At 1 p.m. Eastern, Mm -hmm. the Steam holiday sale could begin. I feel like you're done with Steam. Like, you hardly mention it. You should have been counting down with us for that. Uh, You know what? I feel like the... uh, You bought all the games? A lot of the cheaper stuff, yes. And, okay, I don't know if it's me or it's just games in general. I just don't feel like there have been a lot of games this year that have truly captured me. Even independent ones? Or things that I... Uh, Meaning, like, I know sometimes you buy the smaller ones yes. at Christmas. Well, and that's kind of what I'm looking at now. Uh, there are a couple of smaller games that I am interested in. Uh, there's a game that just came out called, where did it go? Um, oh, it's called Gris, G-R-I-S. And it's interesting. It's about a girl that is grieving. The art, it's, the art is unbelievable. Like, really? if you get a look at it, it just looks incredible. Um, and... Her dress gives her pow- like some kind of powers. It looks like a cloak, um, and you're kind of navigating. You don't know what she's grieving or what has happened, but you know that there's some kind of sadness that is in her Ooh. life, and she's moving through it. Dude, the art is stunning. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> That's really cool. I know. I And I just, it's one of those things that looking at it, I'm like, man, that is a very interesting looking game. 
I'd kind of like to see what there, exactly that looks like. There is talk that that game might be releasing on Xbox One or PS4. Um, but it's out on PC now. Sure. Uh, it's also out on the Switch right now, if you want to play it on the Switch. It's but a it's puzzle platformer. Gris, G-R-I-S. Dude, you should try that just because it, it is so unique looking. I know. A uh, couple of other things I was looking at, and again, these are smaller, less expensive things, like a game called Inner Space that I thought looked interesting. Air, A-E-R, and again, these are like lower, like not high profile games, but usually around Christmas, that's what I take a look at. Some of the other stuff I'm a little interested in, uh, if it's cheap enough, and that's the other thing is like these games have got to be cheap, but there is a something called Titanic VR Mm -hmm. that allows you to, using virtual reality, to wander the Titanic and look around. Thought that sounded kind of cool. Sure. Um, and then uh, there's a game called Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, which is... Uh, that sounds light, light and airy, doesn't it's, it? It's actually about... It's the a game, Blades of Hell. It's about mental illness, <laughs> again, and I, I was I thought it looked and sounded kind of interesting. I like the, the, the art one better. Yeah. Um, I was also looking at Sunset Overdrive, and then, you know what never came out, Nikki, that we talked about that I just feel like would have been great? The B game never came out. B Simulator? Yeah. There was I, some trailer for it that we watched. I know. So I thought that might be out in time for the Steam sale, but it will not be. And uh, I'm kind of interested in it. So it's, again, Steam. It's basically iTunes for video games. You can only buy them digitally. These are games that only show up on your computer. But then um, you can access them anywhere. Yeah, but what, one of the things that I love about Christmas that I will do is I will spend probably hours just looking through the store. Um, and I will, if I don't get a gift card, I'll probably buy myself a gift card and use it on Steam. But uh, yeah, like I just, I'll spend hours just going through and looking at, and this is usually the time too. Like I haven't played with my VR stuff probably since June. Mm-hmm. I'll buy several new VR things because I'm just too cheap to pay full price. Well, now's the season. Yeah. Now it's really Christmas once the Steam sale starts. So theoretically that fires up today at one. Yeah, they, they never announced it in advance, but it always leaks. It used to be more fun back in the day a couple of years ago they would have daily sales and so i felt like you were more vocal about it then because oh what was going to be the games for sale now they just put everything on sale for a couple of days i do like it but i do miss the fun of like every day at one o'clock they would update the sale so things would be different that was a blast but i do like being able to shop really think about what i'm gonna buy and you have the whole time yeah and just buy what i want instead of being like oh i better buy it because it won't be on sale yeah that leads to poor choices which is not to say that I'm not making poor choices anyway, but those are even poorer <laughs> poor choices. choices. We searched for something positive to say about the riot and finally came up with one word. Consistent. Consistently terrible, but still consistent. Radio U. So I am kind of tired today and pretty chill. It's like I'm just thinking like I really want to lay down. It hasn't been violently tired. Yesterday felt violently tired. Today's a little bit more manageable. Yeah, but you know what? It makes me wonder. You know what I did last night? I DJed a Christmas party, which was awesome, by the way. Because it wasn't just a, yes, you said Christmas party. It It wasn't just a DJ thing. It was Christmas. <laughs> Dude, it was wild in there. Oh my gosh, I almost didn't tell you. Okay. One of the people at the party, they made dessert. Yeah. You know how you get, uh, what is it like? Do they call it a cookie pie or whatever, where it's like a huge chocolate chip cookie and then they put a little icing on it? Yes. The cookie, like cookie cake. Cookie cake. Okay, yeah. that's it. That's it. Why did I say pie? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. They made a homemade cookie cake. Cake. All right. But imagine this layer one chocolate chip cookie. And then buttercream icing that's almost an inch thick. Yes. Then a second. Second cookie. Cookie on top of that. And then the entire top of that is covered in buttercream that's icing. That's how you make a cookie cake. Not the little, oh, we're just doing a swirl of icing and that's all you get. That's how you do it. Good <laughs> Lord have mercy. Can you imagine if they would have put like a layer of actual like cake as well that, that would have been really I actually good. at first i was like that can't be what i think it is it can't be like it's not that is illegal in some states you sure because it seems like it was a christmas miracle to me i definitely <laughs> cut myself a piece Did and you? then i went back for it and i mean i literally just i had this little piece because i knew that has to overpower you right yes it does <laughs> and then i cut myself another little piece because i had to go back and have another one yeah i was just amazed at that Why Christmas miracle. just bring that back to the station and say, hey, we have a Christmas party tonight. We'll just eat the rest of the cookie cake. And you know what I could do? I will tell you, there's a grocery store right over here that makes cookies like that. We can't have cake like tonight, can we? 
Should we get... I mean, it's Christmas. <laughs> don't know. Don't... No, I don't know. I don't know. I'll get the, the Wendy's food. <laughs> you what if we... That okay. Up. What if we didn't uh, get Wendy's? And we just had the cookie cake? What if we just got some cookies? Well, I feel like you have to have food with some, some okay, of I'll it. What, like, we have I'll to do. have a dinner. I'll go get us. Now, I'm not going to buy, like, a full size, but, like, I can the get us ones? each an individual. And believe me... It will be more than enough. Do you know those? I've seen those. They're like a thousand calories. Don't. Just I, for that. You know what? I wasn't going to tell you. I knew that. You knew that. I've seen it before. I knew that. Because every time I go, I'm like, oh my gosh, what are these things? They're like, it's, how is that? It's their, their character cookies. They're, they're delicious so looking. They're good. Mm. They're so good. So we'll see what we do tonight. What will appear during our ugly Christmas sweater party? We're not sure. We'll I'll see get, what I, appears. I will bring those. Okay. If you want, like, do you want one? Maybe we just get one. What? You want, okay. Why you, want a split, you want to split one? Why can't we split one? Because, Nikki. We if, have Oreo. We're doing the peppermint bark Oreos. Okay, we're look, eating those. We have hot chocolate M&Ms. Don't you understand? Here's the thing is, I feel like you're going into this party tonight. Like, I don't want to really regret anything. It's late at night. And I feel like you and I need to go into this party looking for something to regret. Right. That that cookie sounds like it'd be And that it. cookie feels like regret. Well, I, if, I thought if you want to actually eat it all then we could just split one andrew says it's a riot live stream of course there, there should, should be, be cake. cake thank you andrew for like reminding us okay of the I, important things what if there was cake and then we just you know like it said merry christmas and then when we're done with it we just put it on the break room table and then it's a staff christmas, it's a staff cake. christmas. i would prefer us getting a small cake i think over the cookie really uh, maybe yeah i think i would so by small, do you mean like a quarter quarter size sheet cake? <laughs> the little round one. Oh, that's... <laughs> the little tiny round one. Okay, that's like a two layer. Or again, we could do a little cake and split the cookie. No, no, no. it's got to be one or the other. Even I have lines, all right? <laughs> I've got standards in my life well, I can't you cross. You can have a little I bit of I can't both. do... No, I can't go buying cookies and cake. Now, but I can buy some cake. You could buy one or the other. Yeah, so... I'll get dinner stuff, and I've got that picked out. You decide on dessert stuff. Okay. And I mean, we'll I've meet only here been tonight. to 14 grocery stores. What's one more? <laughs> Might as well go again. Awful. Terrible. Horrible. Pathetic. Someone grab me a thesaurus. I'm going to need more words to describe how bad these guys are. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. So, Nikki, I have a hard time sleeping. Not all the time, but yeah. I definitely go through periods of time where I don't sleep very well. Um, I feel like I've been on the verge of that the last week or so, not sleeping super well. Um, and last night I DJed this Christmas party. And so I was like, I got to get something to help me sleep. And I cannot, cannot take any kind of a Benadryl-like thing. And that's all, that stuff that is Z-Quil, that is just Benadryl. Yeah, it just and has a nighttime name on it. If I drink that for like 24 hours afterwards, I will be dead to the world. Uh, so, I mean, you know, if I need to be dead to the world, I guess I... <laughs> but since we have a show to do tonight yeah. and a show to do tomorrow and the show this morning, it doesn't work out. So, I got myself actually two for last night and then today. I got myself a neuro drink. Have you ever seen those? They come in the, like... The weird shaped... Uh, bottles and they're the bright not colors. not a pyramid scheme, but it's a pyramid. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> uh, so, I got neuro sleep Yeah, last I thought you night. had that before. I have. It had melatonin in it and I think it might have some other things in it, too. And I'm just curious if anybody else has tried this stuff to sleep uh, because it really did seem to help me. But what I'm not sure about is this morning if I'm like, I feel like I've been, I've chilled out a little bit and I'm not sure if that's because, hey, dummy, you got a good night's sleep or or am I still feeling the no. effects? I don't know. Like it. And I also want to know what's in this compared to like if you just took melatonin at night. Well, the thing I've noticed is, is this less or I have tried multiple kinds of melatonin tablets and I can't seem to find a melatonin tablet that actually like helps it, you. It either doesn't really help me sleep or it is like right. I'll never wake up. It'll bring on the Christmas nightmares. Like right. you'll get and nightmares I, with it. I can't find and I've tried different doses. Like I've tried different, you know, all kinds. I've tried chewable. I've tried time release. I've tried all kinds of different things. See, I was reading some reviews and they say that it's got a lot of magnesium in it, which is, I think, what you really need the most, like adulting right now. You need more magnesium. I think so. I think so. Which, and should I just get a magnesium rock next to my bed and lick it? Yeah, it sounds good. Okay. <laughs> but it was just saying that it's it's really good, though, for you. Okay. 
well, I'm up for that. Um, it it seemed to work just fine last night. I, I feel okay. And then, again, because it's one of those things where, all right, you go DJ a party, that's performance. So, like, well, you're, after you're that, high on that yeah. yeah. And when you're done, you're supposed to go to sleep, and it's like, I can't! <laughs> And it'll be the same thing tonight. Nikki and I, you know, when we probably should be in bed, we're going to be live. We won't. And then we've got to come back in tomorrow morning. And it's like, I got to get some sleep. Sure. And uh, but I find the dosage because it seems a lot of people do not drink the whole bottle, though. They'll drink it and it'll last three or four days. Wait, what? So they're not like drinking the whole thing every night. So they don't have to. Well, okay. So they'll drink, like, say, a half a bottle one night, and then the next night you'll have another one. Well, then, like, what is the dose? So did you drink the whole thing? Sure I did. Well, well that's why, what I thought, why too. Why wouldn't you? So uh, you have to figure out what your dosage would be. I'll have to go out and look at the bottle. I have one more, and we'll see what it says on there. But, like, I don't, I don't feel, like, extra tired, and I definitely did sleep well last night. In fact, I didn't have any trouble sleeping falling asleep all right well it's uh it's the neuro sleep drinks and there's lots of flavors i'm just reading the reviews on amazon so let's see i don't know this person's name but they said i love the neuro drinks the sleep one got me through college uh jc says supplemental tablets aren't absorbed properly so having it dissolved in a drink may be why it works for you yes they said that that's helpful um and this another person whose name i don't have says i get nightmares from melatonin I can't do it or z uh, The For me, the melatonin nightmares are a thing if I take it many days in a row. If I just would have it like one or two nights, then it's okay. And like typically the worst night for me is Sunday nights. I get off, get off the weekend, get nice and rested, and I'm like, let's party. <laughs> and and then, then I can't sleep. Then you need the drink. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for listening to the Worst of the Riot podcast. Oh, no. I missed it. Do it again. You can hear us live every day on the Radio U Network through the Radio U app or at riot.radiou.com. Look, the only reason I'm spending the night with you is because you said we could get drunk.